Hello there Music Store TV viewers, very welcome here at the Superbooth in Berlin 2018 at the booth of Shaq Matt here with Francois Gaspar and I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. Hello, hello. You have something new to show. Yeah, we have uh, some new stuff coming on. We also classic stuff that we brought with us here at the Super Booth. Uh, so we're Shaq Matt from uh, Brussels, Belgium. Uh, let's say our module lines basically is focused on uh, what we call intuitive sequencing. That's how we started first. It's, it came from, uh, so I'm a musician first be, before being a manufacturer. And uh, I, I just was um, seeing that uh, it was pretty cool to play with modular scenes, but I had a hard time sometimes to sequence and to have a very ergonomic uh, interaction with my modular. So I started to make modules to just get back what I called a good interaction I used to have with my guitar, with my keyboard and this kind of stuff. And intuitive use. Intuitive use and uh, ergonomic use. Intuitivity and ergonomic stuff are our main focus. So a good example of those modules, for example, the four bricks rook. This is the brand new modular. This is a brand of my module. Uh, this is one um, a module we released one year ago. Uh, so it's not the newest one, but one of the most uh, hyped modules we got and the most interesting, I think, in, in my opinion. So it came to the fact I really don't like the 16 step sequencing stuff, but I like to play with my finger. So for example, it's a module that allows to play on pad and to, to, to play some um, rhythms to, to trigger sequences. So I could like, for example, record a kick. Okay, and I have it all over the sequence and I can record. Okay, as easy as that. I can quantize and unquantize per channel. Okay. When I get a sequence, I can store it inside the module in a non-volatile memory, meaning when I turn off my modular, it's still inside. I got 16 slots of 8 patterns, meaning I got 128 patterns I can store inside. And the module is delivered with factory patterns, I will explain a bit later. The way to recall pattern is to go into the pattern mode. So there is four ways to play the module. Play mode, pattern mode, fill mode and mute mode. In the pattern mode, you say per channel, if you want to play, uh, a pattern and you choose a pattern there, okay? To change the slot there is a very short shortcut to do, I will explain later. So you can take all your module and say, okay, let's read it, let's take it and put them in my, in my buffer and I can now re-record and I can reinterpret what I saw before. So what I can also do, I will just let the kick uh, here, tuk, 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 tuk. Just putting another kick pattern, more simple. Okay, and now let's go to the fill mode. Fill mode is the same as pattern mode, but it's just when I press a key. And it's still there. And I can record the move I'm making with the table there. Okay, better than this. As the module is unquantized, I have a very high resolution of recording, like 24 hours at the incoming clock, like better than MIDI. And what it means, it's inside the module I got factory tables with like, for example, strange swing, triplets, strange time division and this kind of thing. For example, I can go to triplet slots, I get to unquantize my track to use the triplets and here we go. <laughs> and you can, of course, record them. Okay, and the last thing, the last track, I will put too much, but you know, you will understand why. Okay, the last one is very awful, but it's my purpose. Four modes, four mode is mute. I can mute it, unmute it, mute per track, but I can also record my mute. So I'm sculpting all my trigger sequence. So instead of 16 pads, um, uh, you gave the, the module the possibility to record exactly. your button shots. Yeah. That's the way <laughs> how you just use it. You, you're just using a knob instead of 12 more pads. Exactly, exactly. And it's a, li a live, live thing because you play and it records what you're doing. You basically. Record and also delete the things. Yeah, the and you can time. store, you can uh, also have two versions because there is two buffers. There is also lasting um, algorithms that allows to uh, auto-randomize, auto-fill. Yeah. And this algorithm 
uh, the probability to go into a fill raise while we go at the end of the sequence. And if we go into a fill, it have a huge probability to stay in the fill, like your drummer in a band. It will fill at the end of the sequence and it's do the fill entirely and then go back in the normal beat on the first step. That's how it's coded the algorithm. You have to choose also on the algorithm to just uh, fill on a certain fill or to also randomize the value there and it's independently settable per track. That's really cool. I think we made it and, and really it smart because controllable also. So, so you don't lose so much space for many pads no. and you can use them only four pads are enough to control 16. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Wow. So thank you for the comment. Yeah, 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 <laughs> because it's the first time I'm just uh, this is so impressed by such a, well, I'm just covering your idea now, you know. Okay, okay. This is the philosophy behind your invention. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, um, four bricks Rook, and this is already available? Yeah, it's already available. Uh, I open music store soon, uh, and uh, it's available at the shop, and uh, all the good dealers, all the all good modular dealers okay. in Europe, too. And the price point will be round about? Uh, 320 for this model. So, very affordable for such a huge uh, for this kind of, uh, tool, yeah? drum sequencer. It's a Affordable, yeah. Okay. It's the kind of prime range usually we find. In, uh, yeah, exactly. Francois, thank you very much for thank your you. explanation. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Um, you want maybe a short turnover of what we're presenting oh, right yeah. now? If you want to, yeah, yeah. show us a bit more. So the two new ones are what we call the clock upon. Uh, the clock upon, uh, like the other models, basically, we have to also to say it's a very good uh, building quality, like it's the same uh, switch as Electron. Electron allowed us to uh, make copy of their buttons. So I can try to remove one, but so it's electron button copy made in Brussels. Okay. Um, this one is a clock generator, MIDI to a clock uh, converter. You can make a tap tempo, create a swing. Uh, you have a very nice reset protocol, which anticipates slightly the reset compared to the, uh, actually just delay of a few milliseconds the first clock. So you're sure the reset is always a bit before the clock and all the models finally at my studio reset finally on time and are all on the first step when I'm starting due to this protocol. So it's pretty smart protocol about resetting. The other one we're presenting, which is quite important, is still a very prototype version. The layout will change a bit. It's a plexi panel right now. It's two VCAs. Uh, so it's a stereo dynamic processing unit, two VCAs, uh, audio to trigger converter and a modulation source, meaning that you can do uh, the opening gates, uh, making an expander, making a compressor, making sidechain compression, uh, auto panning, uh, randomizing. There is a lot of way to exploit it. It's a mix between, it's an hybrid digital and um, analog module and I think it's a way we're gonna take for a new release to mix digital, best world of analog and digital together. Okay. So this this is your Shack Mad World. Exactly, it's a Shack Mad World, yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you too. And if you have more inf need more information, please have a look on our internet site, musicstore.com, Shack Mad. Thank you, have thank a great you. day, a great super boost. See you next year. See you next year, bye bye. bye.